Maxwell Chikumbutso recently revealed Scyeth Technology's new car, priced at $15,000, a striking difference compared to the Tesla Model Y's $45,630 starting price. But the real-world viability of Scyeth's claims and their microsonic technology remains unproven, with limited evidence of widespread use or long-distance testing. Whether this is a groundbreaking innovation or not is still unclear, leaving it up to individuals to form their own opinions. This video explores the reasons why the car is cheaper than a Tesla Model Y, assuming Scyeth's technology is genuine and functional as claimed. One of the most important factors is the battery costs. The Tesla Model Y's lithium-ion battery pack accounts for roughly 40% of its total production cost, but Maxwell's microsonic device supposedly eliminates the need for a traditional battery. Instead of relying on expensive, resource-heavy battery cells, his technology allegedly generates energy from ambient radio frequencies. If true, this bypasses the most expensive component of EVs, drastically reducing production costs. No mining for lithium, no complex cooling systems, just a single device that, theoretically, powers the car indefinitely. If this is true as explained, and it effectively powers the vehicle, this would drastically reduce the overall cost of the Scythe Technologies car, enabling it to be offered at a much lower price point. Another key factor to consider is the location of manufacturing. Since Maxwell Chikumbutso claims to be working with a Chinese brand, we know that it is widely understood that manufacturing in China comes with considerably lower production costs compared to the United States, where Tesla vehicles are primarily produced. Labor costs, material sourcing, and overall operational expenses are generally lower in China. This difference in the cost of production is a major element influencing the final price of goods. When you compare this to the US, where labor costs are higher, environmental regulations are stricter, and the overall cost of doing business is more expensive. It's understandable why vehicles manufactured there, like the Tesla Model Y, carry a higher price tag. Then there's the luxury markup. U.S. brands like Tesla often bundle premium features, autopilot, premium interiors, over-the-air updates, into their pricing, inflating the final cost. Chinese manufacturers, however, are known for offering similar or better tech at lower prices. For example, BYD's electric cars undercut Tesla by thousands while matching features. If Scyeth Technologies follows this model, their $15,000 vehicle could include basic but functional tech without the brand tax. That said, we don't know what features the Scyeth car actually has. No specs, no interior photos, no safety ratings. But is any of this real? No one has driven a Scyeth vehicle for miles without charging, and Maxwell's claims defy mainstream physics. While the price could be explained by cheap labor and no battery costs, Skepticism remains. Would a $15,000 car with infinite energy really exist without a single independent test, global media frenzy, or billionaire investor backing it? Listen to what an engineering professor of the Harare Institute had to say about this technology, and let me know what you think about it. As one of the universities in this country, Harare Institute of Technology is satisfied with our relationship with science technologies, which include acting as a scientific advisor, pilot testing and validation of inventions, amongst other obligations. The Harare Institute of Technology will support this journey through research partnerships and talent development. As we look to the future, I firmly believe that safe technologies will become a cornerstone of Africa's technological and industrial landscape. Maxwell Chikumbuto and his team are redefining what is possible, and their work reminds us that it's Africa's time. <laughs> Together we can build a future where Africa is not just a participant, but a leader in technological innovation and sustainable development. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate this launch, let us remember that innovation is a journey, not a destination. My task is very easy today, much as I am a keynote speaker, but I've also come a long way uh, 
with Max. I think after hearing of his uh, innovations that were disruptive and defying uh, the laws of physics, I made it a point that I visited him. And it led me to his factory and laboratory. And I was as disturbed, confused, as most of the comments that we are seeing today on social media, which regrettably lack any information and are not factual about what is on the ground. I've touched and experienced the phenomenal unbelievable power that is coming out of the microsonic energy technology. I want to acknowledge the dignitaries that are here, uh, some that are viewing this um, on social media, online, I also want to acknowledge the CEO and um, Say Holdings uh, Technologies Board and uh, the key men driving these technologies, Maxwell uh, Chukumbuzo. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, innovators, I know there are innovators in this room, industry leaders, members of the 4th Estate who are here present, friends and technology, friends of technology, good evening to all of you. It is indeed a privilege and an honor to stand before you today at this remarkable occasion at the launch of Safe Technologies groundbreaking microsonic energy technology. We gather here not only to celebrate a technological milestone, but to witness the dawn of a new chapter in energy innovation, born and developed right here on the African soil. <laughs> innovation has always been the driving force behind humanity's progress, as the CEO has rightfully underlined. As we confront the mounting challenges of energy scarcity, environmental degradation and economic inequality, technology offers a beacon of hope. Today the world stands at the intersection of technological advancement and sustainability imperatives. Clean and efficient energy solutions are no longer optional, they are critical. This microsonic energy technology development by Safe Technologies promises to address these global concerns by offering efficient, self-sustaining and clean energy alternatives. What makes today even more significant is that this breakthrough has been pioneered by one of your own. <laughs> Maxwell Sangulani Chikumbuzo. Maxwell is a testament to the boundless ingenuity that resides within our continent. His work serves as an inspiration not only to Zimbabwe, but to the entire African continent. For far too long, Africa has been a consumer rather than a producer of technological advancement. Safe technologies is changing 
that narrative. This launch symbolizes a shift towards homegrown solutions designed to meet global challenges. Supporting local innovators like Maxwell is not just a moral imperative, it is a strategic necessity for our development and competitiveness on the global stage. The microsonic energy device has the potential to revolutionize how we generate and use energy. Imagine a future where industries, homes and transport systems are powered by clean, self-sustaining energy sources. This technology promises to reduce dependence on fossil fuels and transforms industrial applications by providing energy solutions that are efficient, scalable, and sustainable. The implications for sectors such as manufacturing, transportation, and telecommunications are immense. We are on the brink of a cleaner, more energy secure future. As Zimbabwe pursues its national development strategy and aligns with international environmental agreements, SAFE Technologies stands as a crucial pioneer in achieving these goals. The global push for net zero emissions and sustainable energy solutions makes innovations like the microsonic energy device invaluable. SAFE's efforts demonstrate that Zimbabwe is not just participating in these global conversations, but is also leading in it. However, for innovation to thrive, collaboration is essential. And SAFE Technologies is also calling upon the private sector, research institutions, and academic bodies to partner with it. By working together, we can accelerate the commercialization of this technology, create local manufacturing opportunities, as well as global, and foster an environment of technological excellence.